Welcome to the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, a show that examines all aspects of sexuality, from physical to emotional to spiritual. Join our hosts as they discuss age-old questions, common misconceptions, and the latest topics surrounding sex. They'll tackle topics about sexuality from the complicated to the hilarious and everything in between. GSMC Sex Podcast is your show for all all of your questions about sex, even some you might not have thought of yet. Welcome to Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast. I'm your host, John Johnson. And I want to share with you something that this show is brought to you in partnership with Care Of. Now, Care Of is a vitamin subscription service that delivers vitamins and supplements which are customized for your specific health needs. You take a quiz, answer some questions about your diet, your fitness, your health goals, and Care Of will put together a personalized plan just for you. I will talk about that a little bit more after my first segment, but I am going to dive right into my topic, sex shows about sex. Now, there are lots of programs out there that talk about sex. Now, what I hope to do with my particular program, the one that you are listening to right now, is talk about it in a way that is more family oriented when when it comes to that. I don't necessarily have to get too terribly graphic about it. I can describe it in, in a more clinical way. Um, I grew up around sex, but not necessarily in the way that made me feel comfortable talking about it. I mean, I finally got to a place in life where, you know, clinical discussions about it were okay. I learned about it on the streets like a lot of people. You know, podcasts have only been around for the last few years. And if there were anything that were about this particular subject, you know, it was, I mean, and if you were a kid anyway, you know, you had to get your parents permission and they had to sign off on it. And then you had to go to a classroom and it, it was, it was very, it was talked about in a way that didn't necessarily have people very freed up about the subject because there were definitely a lot of taboos about it. And over time, I think we've relaxed in how we view sexuality if just because we've learned a lot more about what our needs are, how to have conversations about it, that there are differences in people. And with, with all of this, this, this gives us a, a lot to discuss. It's not just something that has to be talked about in a classroom. Al albeit the reason it is done there a lot of times is because you want somebody who knows about the subject and, and I say that respectfully, you know, somebody who's educated about it. So when people have questions and I remember human sexuality when I was a young person, the whole idea about that, it, it really seemed like it was to teach people how not to have kids when they were young, because I mean, there was a curiosity about it, but it was more about explaining to kids, look, if you do these kinds of things, this is what, it, what's going to get you pregnant and you're going to become parents very young that sends you on a different trajectory and, and that really seemed to be the whole basis of talking about sex in schools it was talking you know pretty much about abstinence birth control i think was something that was talked about because we knew it existed and to talk about sexuality and not talk about birth control is 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 a missed opportunity one to explain that it is there how you go about getting birth control because you know people are, are going to be sexual. And if you don't teach them how to protect themselves, how to make wise choices, because in the heat of the moment, which is oftentimes what happens in sex or, or sexual encounters, you know, we, we're not thinking. We, you know, get into these situations and have these experiences and 
you know, sometimes they they have consequences that we just couldn't predict. So human sexuality in, in schools, I think, was designed at least to broach that subject and to not just get your information on the streets. Because I think as we all know that when you're just overhearing somebody in a conversation, a lot of people just fill in the blanks with whatever. It's not really knowledge. It's just a bunch of filler. And people make up things all the time. But when you're making up something about this particular topic, which for some, it's it's life-altering. You know, you become sexual. There's responsibility slash consequences. And you, you just want to know the right thing. So let's move this along to where now we have TV shows, we have podcasts, we have lots of different people talking about the subject. And some are very graphic. Some people are talking about their sexual encounters and and the things that happen to them. And, and for them, that's uh, a forum for them to open up and share themselves and hopefully teach other people. When you do these kinds of things, this is what happened to me. So maybe don't do what I did. Don't make my mistake if, if that's the lesson there and then in other cases it's really to fill in some other blanks where because there are so many different human beings there's so many different possibilities of the the kinds of things that we want to know um what's it like being uh intimate with somebody of a different race what's it like being intimate with somebody of the same sex what's it like being intimate with somebody who's older or younger or more experienced or less experienced you know we can we can talk about all of these things and in a way that satisfies a human curiosity about what goes on because we can't possibly do all of those things ourselves, much like, you know, all of us are not going to jump out of an airplane and see what it is to skydive. I mean, I'm just fine with someone telling me about it or using a helmet cam and, and, and that's it. See, I get a lot of my experiences <laughs> vicariously and, and that would be one of them. But, But back to this subject here, you know, we don't all have the same desires and same interests, but there are times when, you know, the curiosity of something is certainly beyond anything that I'm ever going to do. And hearing somebody talk about it, I think that's what podcasts allow is there are lots of different choices and there is a particular topic out there that you might be interested in a particular uh, podcast host and, and or a guest if they have one can discuss a, a wide range of things and some are very informative let's say if you were talking about um, in, in the case of sexually transmitted diseases what are the symptoms and if you've ever had a sexual encounter and were unprotected or maybe you were protected but th- there are some strange things that are happening for you some things that are unexplained uh, and, you know, what would you do? Where do you turn? Do you turn to the internet? Do you have a doctor? Do you have anybody else that you might trust that you could ask information of? And with the advent of, of videos and, and graphics and pictures and depictions and, and all kinds of things, podcasts, we hope to educate, uh, people as much as entertain about the subject and, you know, forward the conversation so that people aren't in the dark and people aren't afraid because when you're afraid, then what happens is the fear overcomes you and you just make up things to fill in the blanks and you don't really get the facts and get the information. And if you happen to be a person who is of influence and let's say you're passing on misinformation, you're not doing that person or yourself justice. So I think the thing to do here is to get informed And with a show like mine, I I try to point people in the right direction, have a frank conversation, some about my own experience, some about things that I've I've, uh, talked to other people about, which they happen to be interested in, and and they ask me to talk about it on my podcast. And and I get requests all the time from friends to, to, to cover a particular topic. So you may hear me mention that from time to time when I'm on the podcast. Uh, I, I don't tend to mention people by name because I do love to respect people's privacy and I definitely appreciate their openness um, about wanting to talk about certain things. Like I say, whether it's 
uh, same sex relationships, whether it's younger men, older women, uh, younger women, older men, um, or whether you even have sex at all, but because there are a lot of people that don't and they're perfectly okay with that. Or maybe the other thing is maybe some people can't because medically they have issues that, that, that prevent them from having the, what we typically call, and I use this with air quotes, what we typically call, um, intercourse, you know, a sex life that way. So they have to do things more, um, on an alternate way. And I talk about that from time to time as well. So here's an opportunity for me to take a pause and I will be right back after these messages. Hi there. This is John from the podcast. At the top of the segment, I mentioned care of now care of is a subscription service that delivers vitamins and supplements, which are customized for your specific health needs. You take a short quiz and answer a few questions about your diet, your lifestyle, your fitness, your health goals, and care of puts together a personalized plan just for you. So I want you to get back into a healthy routine and make health and wellness a priority again. Now, Care Of makes it easy to upgrade your routine. So give yourself the support this season. And whether you're looking for energy, better sleep, if you want to maintain your stress level, or do something else to help you feel your healthiest, Care Of does it this way. You take an online quiz, which is fun, and they'll ask you questions about your diet, your health goals, lifestyle choices, and it takes, say, maybe about five minutes, and you find out about scientifically backed vitamin and supplement recommendations. Now, you answer easy questions like, how much sleep are you getting? Are you looking for more energy? Do you need something to help support your weight management goals? Are healthy hair, skin, nails? See, it really gets personalized. So it's also easy and convenient. Because it can be really hard to know what vitamins or supplements you should be taking. But Care Of makes it easy to find out. And what you need to be your healthiest, they have a good idea. They deliver daily vitamin and supplement packs, and they're all customized to your recommendations. So you're only taking what you really need. See, remember that online quiz you took? This is how they get it dialed in for you. Now, depending upon your personalized Care Of plan, You'll get your daily vitamin packs and or your protein powder sent right to your door. It is very customized. The packets even say your name on them. And if you desire, you can modify your subscription at any time when your needs or preferences change. So here's some of the differences. They make sure that what you're putting into your body comes from the best sources and they're backed by honest guidance and transparency. And it's all available to you on their website. Now, their website name is TakeCareOf.com. Now, in a moment, I'm going to give you a promo code, and you're going to be able to get 20% off your first order. So Care Of also offers protein powders, which are available in individual for on-the-go people and in tubs. Again, it's all personalized to your fitness goals and dietary preferences. The individually wrapped vitamin packets are now made from compostable plant-based film that meets the same safety standards. So your vitamins are not only kept fresh, but they're also better for the environment because they have this compostable plant-based film that they are stored in. Now, vegan and vegetarian supplement options are also available to match your dietary needs and to ensure you're getting the nutrients you need for those specific diets. You see, we've got it covered for you. We've got your healthy routine. We get your online quiz. It's easy and convenient, and that's part of the care of difference. Now, remember that promo code that I mentioned? If you go to TakeCareOf.com, enter relationship in the promo code. That is going to get you 20% off your first order. Remember, TakeCareOf.com, and you enter relationship in the promo code. I took the online quiz myself, and I found it very easy, and I found it very interesting. You see, I'm somebody that when I walk into a store with all the choices of vitamins, it is a bit overwhelming for me. So by taking the quiz, it made it so much easier, and I was able to go on their recommendations, use their expertise, and simplify it for me. My vitamins came to my house. I take them. All of they Again, they come in a packet. It made it so much easier for me. And, you know, that might make it a plan that you can stick with also. So, again, go to TakeCareOf.com and enter relationship in the promo code and get your 20% off.
TSMC Beauty Tips Podcast gives you advice on everything from hair to fashion to skincare products. We'll talk about the latest trends in makeup, hairstyles, and anti-aging remedies. And we'll cover all of the newest fashion trends. If you have an interest in or questions about the beauty trends that might work best for you, the Golden State Media Concepts Beauty Tips Podcast has got you covered. Download the GSMC Beauty Tips Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. Hello, and welcome back to Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast. I'm your host, John Johnson, and I'm talking about sex shows about sex. Well, I covered that in the first segment. This segment, I'm going to kind of reach back into something. And in one of the other podcasts, I, I mentioned something about sex with your ex, meaning your ex relationship, and th- some of the temptations around that, why we get tempted to do that. And I mentioned sometimes we're into rewriting our history. And when we get a chance to do that, then it sort of erases the past. And I figure if you're trying to rewrite your history, there's probably something about it that you wanted to get um, get handled to do over as they speak. And that would probably be best left in the therapist's office because you're you're trying to process something. And, you know, we as human beings do it all kinds of ways. Sometimes we can sit down and talk to somebody and kind of do that talk therapy thing. But when we start getting into physical relationships, there is a lot going on there. And I've even seen people try to do NSAs. No, that is no strings attached. NSA. Okay. That is, there's, there's a lot of risk there because the NSA, the no strings attached assumes that you're not going to get emotionally involved. That's what it assumes. But, you know, when things are kind of going well, I mean, and I've seen this happen so many times. I've talked to people who've been in the no strings attached situation. You know, it's sort of good because there's no real commitment, no real responsibility. But, you know, in the back of your mind, you're still operating with that that idea that, you know, it's going to be available anytime you want. And that's kind of why the no strings attached thing has it has sort of a, a luxury attached to it. I mean, you assume that the person you you have this agreement with is going to be available whenever you are. It's it, and while that sounds good when it starts out, I would say that most of those that from the people that I've talked about, it it, it changed over a period of time because yeah, you could have you could be in the same place with that because you both might have that same sort of need at that moment, but. And not too long because, you know, we all have lives, but in not too long, that thing is going to it's going to split off and sort of go different directions because you have your own life. That other person has their life and they're going to be involved and engaged in their life. And the the lack of availability is usually what tears these things in, in going these separate directions. Remember, with no strings, you have no commitments. So it it affords that that one person really can't say that they have dibs on another. But by design in that arrangement, it's not meant to really last. Because if you wanted it to last, it would be a relationship, which has all kind of strings attached. It has all kind of responsibilities and commitments. Even just implied, just being able to have that conversation about availability really suggests that there's something more going on in a relationship. And that while in your mind you may start out with that no strings attached kind of thing, it's it's not going to stay there. So, like I say, there, you know, there's a bit of convenience to it, and, and people love it because on the outside it really sounds like it's something. Oh, wow, this is doable. It's it's easy. I don't have to do anything I don't want to. I'm not going to get emotionally involved, and yada yada yada, cha cha cha. It's not going to stay that way. I think once when something really catches your fancy. I think what makes them interesting in the first place is because people don't necessarily want to have responsibility or commitment around it. But when it's good, you de- you want it to stay, right? You want it to no strings attached, but it's good. So you want it 
to have it available when you want it. But human nature being what it is, when are we ever in the same place at the same time? When we make the effort and time to do it. Now you see where they're starting to become strings attached. And you do it long enough, people have expectations. It's just how we're wired. You're not going to be able to get away from that. I'm going to take another break, and I'm going to come back and talk about this some more. The GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast takes you on a journey of exploration. We'll discuss tried and true methods alongside the latest trends of how to best live your life to its fullest and happiest. From psychology to meditation, science to self-help books, the GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast will help you to discover what makes you happy and how you can live life being the best you possible. Download the GSMC Life and Happiness Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. The Golden State Media Concepts Travel Podcast, the show that gives you advice on everything travel. We explore places you've always wanted to go, as well as giving tips for traveling in those places. We'll give you advice on the best sites for travel tips, information, and discounts. Join us as we travel the world, explore cultures, and meet new people. The Golden State Media Concepts Travel Podcast has got you covered. Download the GSMC Travel Podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, Google Play, or anywhere you find podcasts. Just type GSMC in the search bar. Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast, and I have bridged over to talk about no strings attached, sexual relationships which have no real commitment between the partners, and how that starts out is a good thing, at least to the ears of those that want that arrangement, but how these things morph into something else, because we have desires, we have needs, and you think you find somebody that you can do that with, and... You say, hey, go for it. Well, the no strings attached thing usually has with it a lot of fantasies. And I think that fantasy is is that there's no commitment. But you got to think about it. What most people are doing with an arrangement like that is they are just taking something for a test drive. Because once it turns out that that relationship, that sexual encounter feels pretty doggone good, you're going to want to keep going back for it. A lot of people do. That's what they do. That's the arrangement. Now, if you are a person who is totally free and single, you don't have any relationships other than, you know, this NSA thing, then it's probably a pretty easy go for you. You can do pretty much whatever you want. But if you are somebody who is in a relationship and then you're looking for a side piece, which is what we call that, and that being a no strings attached kind of thing, um, hey, you got to be careful because these things will blow up because and if these things have any life to them, and I'm talking about time span in that regard, usually these things get discovered with the way I mean, and, you know, in the back in the day, and I'm just going to use that expression. It was always about gossip. Somebody saw you or if it was good enough, then the person who was involved in NSA which probably had a history. They had somebody that they talked to. They would just share. They would dish on it. And, I, you know, you could tell people, you know, you swear them to secrecy. It, it's not going to stay there. So that right there sabotages a lot of these situations. So if you have something at risk for uh, exposure, then uh, you're really going to have to to work overtime to – to protect your your liabilities. I mean, look at it. The president himself can't, you know, keep stuff quiet. Everybody knows about everything that's ever happened. 
So the only reason that yours doesn't get the notoriety is because you're not that important. But believe me, in your small circle, your small community, if your personal business got out there, how would you feel? And and and, and this is the thing that I do when I start talking to people about doing things that they don't want people to find out about. Somebody's going to find out. So treat it like that and let that make your decision for you. So if it comes to dealing with boundaries and say maybe you have a relationship now that and the expectation is that you were solidly committed to that person, yeah, this no strings attached thing might be the what sounds like the perfect arrangement for you, but I'm going to say to you, you be careful about stepping into that because there is going to be some blowback at some point in time. And, you know, these things usually don't just stay neutral. I've known a number of situations where people, they did get emotionally involved. I think the no strings attached thing was because they had been hurt and had decided that they did not want to get hurt again. So this makes it easier. But by virtue of it feeling easy, it's sort of artificial because then something like that, it starts to work and then you want it. You see, because it's sort of fitting the bill. And then when you want it and then try to make the pieces fit, then it becomes complicated. Hence, the no strings attached. And that's why it's really difficult to make it stay that way. So those of you who have been in the no strings attached arrangement, I mean, ask yourself this. I mean, I remember there's no judgment here, but how long did it last and how well did it work out? I mean, it was, it might've been good for a few encounters, but you know, the dynamic changed and I don't mean just people just moved away. I mean, if that were the case, yeah, it's easy. People move away. It's, it's no longer convenient, but you know, given the situation, given the geography that you're relatively, um, you know, close, I mean, it works well enough that, I mean, you can, you have had your few encounters and so what happened, what happened to break it apart? It was usually one person started having feelings for the other and, that just won't work. That breaks the no strings attached kind of thing. So it's sort of a catch-22. And there you go. So most important is uh, you definitely want to keep it real. Um, you need to know yourself. You need to have conversations about these things before you get involved. Because uh, no strings attached, to it sounds good. But there's going to be some rocky waters ahead. Say there, I'm looking at the clock, and I think my time is up. So I want to thank you for listening, and join me next time on the Golden State Media Concepts Sex Podcast.